Good morning tight liners and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, not fishing somewhere that you've seen before. Adrian and I have made the trip and we've driven about an hour and a 20 minutes down to Mostyn Docks. Plan of action today is fish this spot here now for about three hours of the flood. I got two baits out, one dropped in really close with a sardine and squid bait looking for a Mostyn conger. And on the other one, I've got an up and over with some sardine and squid on that one put out into the channel looking for a Mostyn thornback. I'll show you both those rigs in a bit later on. The other thing I'm going to do now as well, I'm going to put a Wessex rig on and I'll show you that when I do it with some crab and drop it in looking to see if I can get one of those elusive place. They've been catching place here quite prolifically over the last week or two. So let's hope that the fish are here to play for us today. Bait have been in about five minutes. I've also got some bluey, bits of sand deal, bits of uh, just squid on its own. And then of course I've got a load of peeler crab, fresh from the straits. I think I got a little bite on that one. I'll keep an eye on that for a bit. Anyway guys, like I said, peeler crab from the straits that I'm going to try for the place with. We have got some ragwin with us as well. The chances are that that will get stripped by crab quite quickly. So anyway guys, fel yr arfer, os os ar rhywbeth, ddoi chi'n dol. Ok guys, so uh, I'd like to thank Adam Bond as well from ADB Fishing. That's his channel on YouTube for putting us onto this mark today. Um, giving us some advice on best times and what have you. The, what we've got now is that we've just had low water. So we're on the flood. Like I said, we're going to fish here for about three hours. So what we're looking for is that once the banks over there have uh, covered a bit, we're going to move to there and see if we can get a flatty. So the rig I'm going to be using close in for place is a Wessex rig. So what it is, it's just basically a one up, one down. So what I've got here, the bottom one, the lead runs free. So I've got my hook here with my attractors. The attractors are from Moonglow, a company in Hollyhead. And then I've got a size 1.0 XT Ultra Point Aberdeen hook from Limitless. And I'm going to put some crab on there now. So, and then the same on the top as well. 1.0 Aberdeen Limitless hook. So I'm going to put this one in a little closer and give it a go. Right, so Adrian's just called over there now. He's just had a knock on the uh, flatty rig. So anyway, I'm going to bring mine in in a minute now for a bait check and refresh the bait. And the next rig I'm going to be sending out is a two up, one down. So it looks similar to two hooks up the top there like that and one below the lead. Now then, What's interesting about this one is, is that the bottom hook will clip in to the bait clip on the bottom and it'll slide up so that it looks like it is just a normal three hook flapper. So when it hits the water, all of these will come off. goes through the air in the cast. Not that I need to clip down here very much, I don't think. But anyway, you'll go through the air like that. One, two, and three bait in line like that. It hits the water, it unclips, everything unclips when it hits the water. And then what happens is the other bait slides down past the lead. Anyway, that's the theory. Let's see what happens with Adrian's bait in a minute. Okay, so this is the bait that we're using today, peeler crab. 
have a look at this one. This one is actually popping out of its shell. Right, for those of you guys who don't know, what happens when a crab is that it grows this skin, new skin underneath, and then once or maybe twice a year they'll fill up with water and they'll push this old shell off. This is known as a peeler crab. The way you find them is you have a look around in the weeds, you can turn rocks over, but remember, if you do turn rocks over, make sure it goes back exactly as it was before with the weed on top. Several times we've been around looking for crab, Aidan and I, and my dad before as well, and been cursing people who have been there before because they've just flipped the rock over, weed side down, left their weed side down. And what happens then, of course, is that weed dies. And it stinks the place out. But no more than that, the crabs just won't go back. Anyway, so what you do when we're fishing for place, we'll take the legs off. Don't throw them away though, they're good bait. Right, and then this will just peel off so nicely. Everything will come off this crab because it's ready to peel itself. And there it goes soft and ready to go on the hook. The last one I just brought in now, there wasn't that much activity on it, but what I've done is I've moved that bit of crab that was left up the hook and I'll put a half crab on both hooks again. Anyway, don't know what's happening with Aidan's bite. It's, it's not a, not um, committing itself quite yet. It's also the worth. Well, Aidan just brought in the first fish, guys, and it was a ting. Not really what we want to see. My first bait came back like that. That was a sardine. Anyway. This one's on a pulley rig. So, requested the other day by a, a, a follower is to show you some of the rigs. Well, what I've got there is a um, trident pulley. So basically what it does, it pulls up and down through the line, brings your lead up if you've got a fish. Right? I haven't got a bait clip on this one because you don't need to cast it that far anyway. So it's basically that's what it is. Um, since you would put a rotor clip on the yellow bit there and clip that down onto there. Um, yeah. These are the XT Ultra Ultra Point um, kind of big wide mouth ones. Um, I think that one's a 3.0. Anyway, I get this one baited up again. I've sent out a bluey on the other one now. Let's see what happens. No dig. Got my first bite here now, guys. On the uh, Two up, one down. Adrian's just brought in his big bait. Um, and he says that a flounder followed it in. Yeah, I think I got fish on here. I only got a two ounce lead on this, so. Right, that was the worm. That got a bite on there now. Yeah, the ragworm's been taken, the crab's still there, so I'll put another ragworm on here and get it back. The other rig that I'm using today is the up and over, is one that I use a lot, yeah, 
beach fishing for bass, um, ray fishing like today. Basically, I've got a Pennell, so I've got an Ultra Point XT and one of the um, circle hooks that uh, are in the range from the Midlands. And basically, what it is, guys, is that my bait lies a long way away from the lead like this. There's the lead, and that will lie on the bottom up there somewhere like that. To make that easy to cast though, what I do is I well, obviously bait it up, clip that into the rotor clip, and then basically I bring the loop of line up and it goes over that little clip there. It's called a hangover clip by Trident again. And it sits like that in the air, that hits the water, that comes off, that comes off the top, and your bait is on the bottom. Anyway. Normal cutting. Alright guys, uh, second cast and uh, just doing a bait check basically. And uh, the bait's just come up to the surface and the flounder's just come up and grabbed it, but I didn't land it unfortunately. Nice big old plump flounder chasing the bait, it was a bit of mackerel dregs and uh, yeah, totally took me by surprise. The water's quite murky close in, um, it just came up from the bottom and just to the bait, but as soon as I lifted it out it just dropped off, but never mind, it shows it out there anyway. Right then, nice one, cheers! So there you are guys, that's what it looks like with the bait on there. So that'll go through the air, it'll undo the clip and release the bait. That's all sort of worth. I just missed a blinking good bite there though. I was on the phone to um, Limitless team member Darren Jones who fishes this area very regular so he was giving me a few bits and tips and advice. Yeah, so thanks to him for that one as well. Um, yeah, but I missed the bite. Not his fault. Maybe he should have given it a bit more time. I know I should have given him more time. Um, but it was a wallop and a half on the crab bait, so uh, yeah, <laughs> keep on going, we keep fishing, keeping an eye on the tide as well, because we're going to move afterwards onto the beach over there, see if we can catch those flatties. So sort of earth, dark and dull. Right guys, so the situation is now the tide's flooding quite quickly, we're going to give this place now another 20 minutes before we make our move over to the beach over there. Um, and then from when we're there, there'll be no uh, big fish tactics then. It'll all be looking for flatties. Anyway, that's all sort of us. Right, guys, like I said, it's time to move from here now. Adrian just had another whiting, and I had a little bite and a flounder. So one of the targets really achieved. So uh, I'll measure it. I don't think it's going to uh, get to the longest fish pool kind of size. Um, anyway, targets, well, one target's achieved and it's not a blank. We're just packing up here now and we're going to make our way over to the beach. So yeah, I'll show you one more. Nice flounder. I'll get it measured. And I'll let you know what it was. Yes! <laughs> no, I'm not going to dig. Right, guys, there you are. Last cast flounder in this little spot 38 centimetres. Two centimetres shorter than the longest fish pool. Anyway, let's see if I can get this one back. So, sort of a terror. Well, we're going to make a walk now. Then we need to get at Laurie Von Kuruan. And well, best in the good of Anna. No, I'm not Right, guys, so making the walk over back to the beach. Adrian's already made his way. I can see him over there now. He's almost where he's meant to be. Um, yeah, 
that one from the fantastic caught on limitless 1-0 Aberdeen hooks guys if you haven't done so already go and check them out absolutely awesome hooks razor sharp and a whole load of different patterns as well the other thing guys let me turn you around the other thing as well we've talked about uh, merchandise well I'm almost ready to go with that now so in the near future I'll be asking for size details well yeah size details and be looking for a deposit as well so if anyone is interested in an Anglesey tight lines hoodie it'd be similar to one I'm wearing now with a logo on the back with the logo on the front as well so anyway let's make my way over to the next mark and hopefully we can get on some more fish normal hoodie look at that glorious blue sky our glass or do it normal hoodie that's what we're going to be fishing over now mud banks with deep gullies so the first few casts I think will be to get it right out there and see what's what. There's another couple of guys fishing down over there. Um, might take a walk over and see who they are. Might know who they are. They might know who I am. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that's the plan anyway. Get some baits over this and into the channel over there. Gotta be some fish here. Well happy now that I've got my fish. Got the, well, one flat fish. Let's see if there's another one. Let's see if there's one of those with big orange spots. I don't care if it's me or Adrian that gets it. Don't really care. That last fish, or that flounder, was taken on the Wessex rig, guys. So anyway, I'll be whacking another one of them out now as well. Come on, First signs of life here now, guys, on my left hand side rod. Again with the Wessex rig. Some really positive taps. Let's see how this develops. Sort of well guys that bite hasn't developed into anything so I'm going to bring it in now and check the bait That took a good old initial pull to get that free. But yeah, baits are still intact, really. Anyway, I'll put another bait on there, get it sent out. Normal khadi. So, something, it's a job and a half getting things out of here. 
these girlies are so deep, the mud is so clingy. There we go. Nice little loading spotted one, I think. There we go, guys. First place of the session. Nice little chunk as well. Yes, get in. Best place I've had for a while, that is. Best place I've had for a while. It's bad enough getting things out of there where the plane led, changing that. Um, Yeah, it wasn't a particularly massive bite. But it was quite clear to see. So now that's the place and the flounder, the two flatties that we were hoping to see today, we've now seen them. Hopefully. There'll be a few more, and maybe some bigger ones. There we go. Let's give you a proper look. Oh, it's not too deeply hooked either. This should come out fairly easy. Anyway, I'll get it unhooked, get it measured, and I'll uh, get a show of you again. Number for the. So yeah guys, look at that beautiful orange spots on that, Four, uh, 36 centimetres, 40, uh, 38 centimetres sorry, that, the best one for the fish pool at the moment stands at 46. Let's see if this one goes back, if not, it's going to go home to not much a dick. Right, so that fish, one up, one down, sliding hook length. Basically what it is, it's just a one up, one down, but it looks like a flapper when you're casting it. It just keeps things in stream if you want that little bit extra cast. No, I'm not going to You might ask, how do I mount a crab? Well, first thing I do is get my scissors and I just do a little cut there. Not all the way through. And I get my hook and I go in through these back legs. 
Then I take it out through the back. And again. And back. Through the legs down here again. So what you got now is you got a bait like that. And then a little bit of bait elastic. Just nice and lightly. Making sure that you can see the hook point all the time. Simple as that. That's for when I'm fishing for flatsies, obviously. When I'm fishing for hounds or bass, I very often leave the legs on there. Anyway, I'll saw sort of a thorough with I can. Well, guys. Oh, oh, look at that little seed. That was a good old pull down. I hope that wasn't just weak. <laughs> yeah. Got a pull down. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Ziplex. Another good bite there, guys. See if he can pick that up. Had a proper good pull down. Couple of knocks. Okay, let's go. Give it a bit of time. Not quite as prolific as I'd hope it'd be. <laughs> uh, the way I've been seeing things on uh, your social media, it looks as if it's fish are cast, but yeah, <laughs> that's fishing. We were just saying that we're going to leave it another half an hour ish and see what goes. Twenty-five to six now. Takes an hour and twenty minutes to get home. Not big. Oh God, it's both now. Second place this session, guys. Roughly about the same size as the first one, I think. There we go. Yeah. Nicely hooked as well, guys. That was on the top hook.
put it in the bucket of water for there now and then uh, get another bait on. I was saying to you earlier about not throwing claws and legs away. Look at that bait there, guys. Perfect bait for these flatties. They love it. I put this one a little bit further, although that one lasts a bit further. Yeah. See if that one can do the same again. Catching them now makes me feel a little bit less annoyed than myself from fishing, missing that first bite earlier on. Right, I'll get this fish measured, see what's what. Normal Right guys, third place of the session. Seems to be finding them now. That one's taken that one fairly deep as well though. Um, yeah. All around about the same size as well. Anyway, let's try and get this unhooked and see if I can get it back. That colour of the water kind of uh, puts me off really taking them. But if I have to, I will. Right, let me get the, the scorches. Anyway, if there's anything else, I'll talk about that, ask me like in all. It's strange, isn't it? Same baits, pretty much the same rigs. Thirty-five, yeah. Thirty-eight. Yeah, thirty-five centimeters. Unfortunately, this one did take that hook too deep, and it has bled. So this one will be a fish Friday tomorrow. Nice bit of place and chips. Anyway, normal critic. This could be a few more. Just had another knock there now, okay? About five minutes ago, and it's still knocking there now, so hopefully on the next one. I love it. Starting to lose water here now, guys. But as long as you can cast over this bank, it's good. I don't think it's ready yet. 
Well, guys, another one. Four pieces in session. Oh, oh, oh. This was, this was knocking earlier, yeah? Doing it again, haven't I? Yeah. I also had a little miscast there then. And uh, anyway, it must have got stuck on something. Because when I was bringing it back in now, it just parted with me. We're going to be calling this session soon now, anyway, guys. I'm afraid this one's going to be Fish Friday as well. Places on the menu in Trether Bay tomorrow. <laughs> There we go guys, place number four. Probably should have been five or six. Yeah, uh, look. They're all being roughly about the same size as well. Another, another 35 centimetre fish. I was just saying to Aid there now. Why can't this happen during a match? Anyway. I'll get this fish dispatched properly and bled. That was on the top hook of the Wessex. So sort of earth. Working up. And don't forget guys, if you like what you're seeing and you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give me that big thumbs up. Keeps the algorithms of YouTube going. And uh, possibly, you know, the next time, if you give a thumbs up, I'll be there on your home feed or something like that, right? Also, you can hit the bell, subscribe and hit the bell, and that will mean that you will get notifications every time a video comes up. Also, don't forget, I was talking about the merchandise, hoodies, and possibly beanies and a sun hat as well people have been asking about so have a look at that as well so I saw sort of earth working doll another fish on guys I'm quite enjoying this today I've never seen this before guys again a similar size fish but look at that it's got no tail something has chomped that off somewhere I think Come and have a look at this, eh? That's been... Look at that. That looks as if something's taken a bite out of that somewhere. 
Oh yeah. And it's got a wee seal or something, yeah. Yeah, it looks like could be a seal or it, yeah. even one of those congas from over there. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, something yeah, the way that's gone there, look. Yeah. Really what do we do? Do we put this one back or not? Put it back, it's survived, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has, so hasn't it? Yeah. It's and it's only very, very lightly hooked. It's feeding well, it seems to be doing Yeah. Right. So that's what, five now? Five. Guys, okay, so Adrian's at last. Yeah, got himself into a flatty, nice 39 centimeter plunger. Did not want to try it, believe you me. But there we go. No flatty blank today. Yeah. Anyway, we're not going to be here for much longer now. We are definitely losing the water, so no more no, 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 no. Well guys, that's the end of a session, and what a session it was! Turned out to be a really decent session. Glad that we made the journey down. Yeah, yeah, um, we came, for you. <laughs> We came down looking for place, we got place. We didn't get that monster place that we were looking for, but still, it was good sport. Five place, one flounder, and you had the flounder and two, two, two tings, tings yeah. So anyway, it's definitely a place that I will be returning to again. Oh yeah. Definitely. Possibly on a bigger tide. Bigger tides, yeah. yeah. Um, to have a bit more time here. Well, this, um, this is the spot that did it, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, this is brilliant, yeah. Well, um, as you can see, the yeah. girls behind us are empty now. So. Everything's empty in there, lads, yeah. So, guys, don't forget, if you, have, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to give a good thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, Let's get these numbers rolling. We're getting very, very close to 1,500 subs now. So let's get it up there, guys, yeah, and beyond. Yeah. Guys, until the next time, keep your lines tight. Cheers.